Okay, well, morning everybody, and this is gonna be my this is gonna be my second attempt. Um, last attempt, I got about got about five minutes in. Was gonna show uh, was gonna show some uh, pinball FX3 what I what I did on there and stuff. But then um, I uh, picked a random table and it acted it became a became a Star Wars table, and I didn't realize that Star Wars music was playing until until like about a minute or so into the table. So realized that I now have a ruined cast on my hands. I had to delete the video and start over because uh, Star Wars music is copyrighted music, so yeah. And on top of that, I forgot to do something else, so let me go ahead and pull this up real quick. Click. Okay, so let me go ahead and intro this music. This is gonna be Arbuja, their uh, self-titled debut, and uh, this music here came from a country called Serbia. Um, I think that's what it is. It's a country I never heard of, or I've, I've heard the name, but I don't, I can't place the location. I guess I could probably look it up real quick. Come on. Kind of a uh, South Central Europe, I guess. Uh, yeah, otherwise, not too familiar with that place. But anyway, let me uh, go ahead and uh, rewind this back. Let's go ahead and fire it up. So, all right, second attempt. Okay, anyway, um, just kind of a bad day today. Um, I just came, I just, uh, got up from my third nap, my third one-hour nap. It just, I was having a hell of a time trying to stay awake. Uh, I, you know, I do a nap, get up, uh, just basically, uh, sit around and watch random stuff. And then, uh, okay, there it goes. I thought maybe YouTube might have been screwing up on me or something. Anyway, but just been doing that. Um, something else. Uh, yeah, and then um, one other thing I did is um, I watched a uh, special one lit. It's a, a documentary about pinball. I uh, watched it from beginning to end. Um, definitely a fave of mine. Loved pinball ever since I was a kid. Um, then um. Kind of got inspired to play some FX3. That's uh, what I messed up on my last attempt. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull it up again because I don't want to try to avoid making another disastrous mistake like I did on my first attempt. So anyway, um, I'm out in the in this week's league, like last week's. Um, I was I was in the red and in danger of dropping down to rock bottom. Just you know, there's a there's there's different uh league levels or league rankings um it goes it starts with bronze three then bronze two bronze one silver three silver two silver one gold platinum diamond etc so i was in danger of uh of falling of, of falling back down to rock bottom league but luckily i actually i actually won a table i actually beat a score so so i'm out of the red now Yeah, like I said, this was this was not a good day. So, and then um, but uh, one thing I did play a fair amount of though, Killer Instinct. This was something that I was doing from time to time throughout the night. Um, and once again, mostly playing Hisako. Just uh. Piddled with her. Um, I think I did a survival mode. Um, did a just did a couple of couple of off battles and stuff. And then um, 
one other thing I did do, one other thing I did do is, um, I actually pursued, perused the, uh, website. It's, a uh, guide, everything you needed to know about Killer Instinct. It's, um, okay, I gotta, I gotta clear out a couple windows here, because they're kind of in the way. And, uh, I actually decided to go ahead and look up the, uh, characters. Um, I think, um, just kind of went from, uh, from the very first character and then went all the way down. <coughs> <coughs> then come to find out later that, like, hmm, okay, I, uh, I guess they do have zoning in this game. But, yeah, uh, let me, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and, and bigger that a little bit. But yeah, I'm just, like I said, checking out all the characters. Uh, Glacius here. Um, he's, he actually, he's actually his owner. Back when I, back when I was playing Fantasy Strike, one of my main characters was Argagark. He was also his owner. Just like Dalsum. Um, I also looked up, um, uh, I guess, uh, Chief Thunder. Chief Thunder, he's a grappler. Just like, uh, just like Zangief on Street Fighter, and just like, uh, just like Rook on Fantasy Strike. Although, now that I think about it, I think he only has, uh, he's only got, like, one throw. Yeah. Yeah, he's... He's only got like one throw. Ask, and, and this is also this is also uh this is also one of the reasons why, you know, I like this website. They actually did a good job in the in the production of it. They did a good job making it. Like they use they use bold text. They use different colors and all that stuff. It actually, you know, it, it it's readable. I mean, a lot of these strategy guides that I've seen, it's just plain text. Hard as hell to read. I mean, you know, you can, you can go down here and they show you what uh, what's open with and all this and stuff like that. So, I guess I got frame data down here. It's my first time going down this far, but but yeah, um, but uh, yeah, but as you, those that have seen my other cast. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I think you can. But, yeah, uh, look, look look this up. Okay, this is my main here. This, she's the reason why I took up Killer Instinct. You know, it sh showed the moves she does, and apparently I kind of misunderstood how that worked. It's an actual counter. And I guess she's she's sort of kind of like a she's sort of kind of like Zangief. She's kind of a grappler. You know, didn't realize it, but you know, like this move here that I use fairly often is an actual throw. Um, I think this one here is also an actual throw. So now that I think about it, I think unlike most of these other Killer Instinct characters, she actually has two throws. Most everybody else in here only has one, or they have a they have a they have a default throw, and then like like a, like Chief Thunder that I showed, he has one additional one. Oh, how about that? She's got two of them. But but you know kind of but like I'm like I'm saying like I said a few moments ago, you know, it's one of the things that keep that keeps me playing Killer Instinct is this website, and on top of that. They made a good job make they did a good job making it. You know, it doesn't look like something you'd see on Game Facts. Where it's just nothing but plain text. And I you know the as far as images go, the images are text images. It's hard I can't 
I think it's called ASCI or something like that. It's just really... It's their, it's their attempt at making images using nothing but plain text. It just looks bad. You know, and then there's... There's kind of this, too. So, I can't remember where I read it, but... They, um... It was considered... This site here is considered the, um... One of the best fighting game guides ever. And now I definitely understand why. You know, they actually put some time and care into making this. Oh, I'm, uh... I'm taking a drink of, uh... Arizona green tea. Hold on. Yeah, and I guess, I guess while I'm here, but I don't want to be on, I don't want to be on too much longer, because like I said, I am running a little bit late here. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and, uh, I do need to do something else. I gotta finagle the window on this thing. Alright, so... Show you something like um something like Glacius, he's his owner. I still like the original version of Orchid. Where she was like a a ditzy fan service bimbo character. Probably one of my favorite fatalities too. But you know, you can... Alright, I still gotta find... I still gotta figure out which one it is. Okay. There it is. But you know, you can go... But yeah, you know, you can, um... You know, he can get chucked up, and I think he can actually combo off of it. See? You can combo. You can actually do a combo off of it. So that I mean that was a little mind blowing about him. You could actually do combos um, from way far back. So so. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, and there was also this. You can, like, totally dodge attacks with that, and there's... Let me show you Thunder real quick.
Hit the fuck up. Oh, damn. Yeah, kind of a bad choice there. So I'm gonna be fighting a guy that's almost twice as big as me. But yeah, this guy's supposed to be a Zangief. Which one was it? There it is. Well, yeah, it's it's um, it's a throw that you can um. Uh, it's a throw that you can combo into. Or you can do it just like that. And I believe he also has a regular one. Just like that one. Well, yeah, just the regular throw, just like everybody else. And he also has that additional one. He's got the uppercut. He's probably one of the reasons why I don't care to. I don't really want to play him beyond that cuz cuz yeah I'm pretty bad I'm pretty bad with the uppercut motion yeah that one there ugh. it's a head it's that flying head but you might have seen but but yeah, it's it's like I've been, it's like I just said. I mean, I don't. So, like I said, I don't want to go um. I don't want to go too over long into this. So I'll just go ahead and kill that there. Okay, so, um, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. I mean, I've, I've already messed up enough as it is, and, and again, wasn't really a whole lot going on today. I mean, between, um, between taking naps and just lollygagging around, so, very unproductive day today. So, so I'll just go ahead and kill it here. Um, but otherwise, thanks for, um, Thanks for dropping in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And almost the video, not even.